doesn't love whales? That's what I'm talking about today. Welcome back everyone, it's the Kauai Lawyer, Chris Donahoe. It appears SeaWorld has started a new PR campaign in an effort to clean up its image regarding treatment of its animals, especially its killer whales. I just saw the new public service announcement that they released earlier today and I gotta be honest, I was a little disturbed by it. It actually creeped me out kind of. If you'd like to see what I'm talking about, I've included a link that you can click on, check it out first, and then come on back and watch. It looks like SeaWorld is finally, after about two years, responding to its critics, especially to a movie that came out in 2013 called Blackfish, which didn't exactly paint SeaWorld in the most positive light, especially concerning the death of one of its trainers that happened by one of the whales, the killer whales. In fairness to SeaWorld, they are called killer whales. So, what else can you expect, right? The PSA to me just seems so defensive, like SeaWorld has something to hide. The PSA starts with one of the veterinarians declaring, quote, there's some facts about SeaWorld we need you to know. Okay, so to me, it's already been spun like, we're SeaWorld, forget all that movie stuff, we're gonna tell you what you need to know. And then a guy in the video says, we don't collect killer whales in the wild, and haven't for 35 years. Okay, wait, so SeaWorld, that means that before that you were pretty much collecting them in the wild though, right? To me that just seems kind of odd, like, like the German Tourism Authority coming up with an ad that says, come on, come visit Germany. We haven't tried to exterminate an entire race for over 70 years. See, it kind of sounds positive, but then really it doesn't, right? And then SeaWorld says in the PSA that their killer whales are thriving. And government research shows that they're actually living longer in captivity than they do in the wild. Sure, I believe in government research, don't you? This is the same government that said I could keep my doctor under Obamacare. And that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction before we invaded. Now don't get me wrong, as someone who loves going in and under the ocean, I'm kind of on the polyurethane fence on this one. I can kind of see the argument on both sides. I appreciate animal parks, but I think there's some problems with them. Okay, SeaWorld, I've got a couple of questions. One, do we even need parks like SeaWorld anymore? I mean, we live in an age where we have the technology to strap a camera onto the back of a shark, a lion, even a monkey, and we can record them all in the wild. And then we have the ability to track down that camera through GPS, get all the footage, edit it, smash it down, and show it up on a 100-foot screen in IMAX 3D. That's pretty impressive. Sorry, SeaWorld, but this kind of makes watching a seal jump through a little hoop seem a little pedestrian. Second question. How natural does SeaWorld really make the environment look for these creatures? On August 14, 2014, SeaWorld announced the Blue World Project. And what that is, is they're doing an entire new renovation of all the killer whale habitats. It's going to cost hundreds of millions of dollars. It's expected to open in 2018. It's estimated that each of the habitats will contain 10 million gallons of water, be 50 feet deep, and have 1.5 acres of surface water. Now, on the surface, no pun intended, that looks pretty good. That looks like a lot of water. However, According to the Center for Whale Research, in the wild, the killer whale can swim an average of about 8 miles per hour with a maximum speed of 30 miles per hour. And a single whale can travel up to 75 miles a day. That means that at SeaWorld, one whale would have to swim the entire circumference of the current main pool approximately 1,900 times every day. That seems like a natural habitat, right? And it seems a little unnatural for such a great predator like a killer whale or a shark or even a seal to not be allowed to go in the wild and hunt down and catch their own food and not just have it chucked at them after they wave to the crowd. I know we all say, including SeaWorld, that we love these animals. But are we truly in the best position to determine what the best way for them to care for themselves are? I mean, look at us. We're the species that just sit in our car and have food thrown at us through the window. How's that for our obesity levels? That's all I'm saying. Maybe we aren't the ones who should be deciding this. Well, that's about it for me for this week. Thank you so much for watching. This is The Quiet Lawyer, Chris Donahoe. Please feel free to comment down below or subscribe to me or follow me at Twitter. Thank you so much. Take care.